Have you ever wondered why a green screen is green and not any other color and why filmmakers love it so much? A green screen is just a solid colored background. It is usually bright green used to remove and replace that color in post-production and this process is called chroma key. But before green screen, filmmakers had to be really creative. Filmmakers like George Milliers used double exposure to combine shots. They were literally layering film to fake visuals. Then in 1940, Larry Butler developed the first ever blue screen technique for the film Thief of Baghdad, which won an Oscar for Best Special Effects. And I know a lot of people are wondering why green or blue and not any other color. Green and blue are the colors that are the furthest away from the human skin tones, making it easier to separate people from the background. Blue came first, but green became the standard in the 1990s with digital cameras. That is because green reflects more light and gives cleaner edges when keying. Green screen is very old. Tao's 1977 used blue screen for the space battle scenes. The Matrix went full green screen for the iconic bullet dodge scene. And with Marvel movies today, almost every scene with CGI is filmed in front of a green screen. And if you're trying out green screen for the first time, it is important to note these three things. One, light the green screen evenly to avoid shadows. Two, light your subject and your green screen separately. Number three, keep some distance between the subject and the green screen to avoid spillage. And in Adobe After Effects, you can key out the green screen using the key light effect. So next time you see someone flying through space, remember it probably happened in front of a green wall. Movie magic has been fooling us for over a hundred years and we love it.